What's up everybody, it's your boy Messy Miles and my girl Mika and welcome to the first vlog of Keeping It Real with Mika and Miles. Oh, Miles? See, wait, they messed up. I was gonna do Miles and Mika. It'll be alright. It's Mika and Miles, Miles and Mika. Miles and Mika is us. House and Ace up. <laughs> We're gonna tell it like a TIE. We're gonna tell it like a TIE. We're gonna give you the truth. Now, I'm the sugar coat shit. I put it on out there. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Oh, well, it, it, is, it what is what it motherfucker is. is. So, the other day on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, I asked you guys to send me an email to messymiles at yahoo.com about any problem or situation you need resolving. If you need some extra input, um, come to us. We got you. We got your ass. Got now, you. I got three. Three really, really good topics from people. Oh, keep in mind, if you do send um, an email, if you don't want to say your name, put it in the goddamn email. Keep, keep anonymous. Or, your ass will be, name will be said. And I got three. I said. I got three. And only one of y'all motherfuckers said keep anonymous and y'all sign it, so goddamn your name will be said. With that being said, let's get into the first question or scenario or problem. It's three of them. I don't know which one I want to start with. You See, I want to, I know I'm going to start the, the one we were just talking about. We're going to save them for the lab because it's, it's, it's real it's in the good, field for that one. It's a good one for that one, yeah. So I guess we can start. I guess I can go in order because it's really how it is. Okay. So uh, let's go to this folder here. Okay, not that one. It's this one. No, not that one. Oh my God, will you please get it the fuck together? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Now, this one is a keep it anonymous thing, so I shall we keep it anonymous. We won't put you out there, boo. We won't put you on blast. We ain't going to put you on blast, baby. We, we ain't going to put you on blast. And if the camera's shaking, I don't have no tripod, but I will work on it next. We got it on two Tupperware bowls. Two balls. goddamn bowls. It's real in the it's field. It's real in the field. It's real in well, the we field. We're going to make this shit twerk. <laughs> now, this is the question, Mika. Okay. It Give says, it. I'm 23. And a virgin. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, don't laugh. I'm just, it's not funny, though. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, Whoever you it's, is, if you watching, I feel your pain. No, that ain't funny. I'm That's 23 funny. and a virgin. I have a hard time letting guys know I'm interested and tend to push them away. What can I do to open myself up more? See, I had a good joke right there. You want to open pussy up, up? Get that pussy up. <laughs> you spread them wide and let them go. Let and spread it wide. Nah, nah, you got to you gotta give well, it to Well, I'm going to let you take this one because I know you, 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 you can. Why I got to take this one? So, oh, so you trying to put me on front <laughs> You just told me. That's you what I'm saying. You trying, you trying to put me on blast, right? No, everybody know you a hoe. Go. Okay, see, I'm going to let that one go and check. <laughs> You gotta put that part in the back of your head. You can't, That's what I'm saying. You can't go. You can't assume you can't everybody assume. wants to push yeah. that because you a virgin. You can't put you. You can't go with go into every situation with every dude thinking that I gotta keep this in the back of my head. I'm a virgin. He gonna want some. So it's certain I can't do this. I can't go visit him or I can't go out. You know, be on mm -hmm. a date with him and be right. with him for too late because. I might get in a situation where he might try to get some. I mean, and if you try to get some, no me. If, no. Yeah, if you don't want to have sex, and you, and, like no. basically, you can read dudes and women too. So I mean, yeah, because I feel you like you can I'm read a, people right when you first meet. You yeah, can tell I'm a pretty what they good judge yeah, So you can tell you gonna you gonna be able to tell from the type of nigga with well, some people. And if you just dumb as a box of rocks, and you can't tell if this nigga wants just want you for some pussy, or if this nigga just really trying to get to know you, then that's on you. I suggest you work on yourself. But if you can tell that the dude is a pretty good dude, then you know just start out slow. Go on a couple dates with the dude, you know, see where it goes. Y'all have a little moving night, you know. Mm -hmm. You ain't gotta just feel like you gotta shut yourself up just because you I never wish, had no dick. I wish like, you had to put in it. more detail about what kind, what type of dudes you like. Cause that also can play a part, in my opinion. That can play a part of like if you just like thug ass niggas from the hood. Of course, they've been around the block a few times. Yeah, they don't they want some pussy right off the back. I'm, but, I'm, now I'm just just I didn't talk to a lot of these thug niggas to some some corny to some you know you you gonna be able to tell the type of nigga that well this nigga he straight out straight out the block. Yeah. So I already know off top he yeah. already think look. I'm going to take you somewhere, but now at the end of the night, you're going to let me tap that. If I can't tap that, bitch, you need to stay at home. Let me know now if I ain't going to be getting none at the end of the night. You got certain different kind of dudes, so and, and it just depends on it depends on you, what type of dude you with, what situation you in. It, mm -hmm. it really depends. I agree. I mean, I don't really know a certain way to tell you or how you could open yourself up more. I mean, I mean just, you should just, just I mean, basically, flow. really, go the first the thing you need to do, yeah, loosen up. Just loosen up. Go to the floor. Put the part that you're a virgin in the back of your head. Yeah, you just because you're not about always that. thinking about it not talking about it, that don't mean that you just gonna, you know, get loose and get wild. You, I mean, you can relax and open up and 
thing let's, is, let's go. Just if, let's if, go. where are you meeting these people that you pushing on? Are you meeting their ass on the Twitter? Are you meeting their ass on the Facebook? I'm going to tell you about like these Twitter. If you meet their ass at church, I mean, it all depends on where the fuck you meet this man at. I'm going to tell you about these Twitters and these Facebooks, okay? These niggas be fucking just straight. They want they pussy hounds. That's all they be wanting. <laughs> they some pussy hounds. That's all they want. They want they some. Pussy. They going to they gonna send you messages and tweets and I, oh, you're just so beautiful. I just want to get to know you. And you like, you got a beautiful soul. Mm. Nigga, you ain't thinking about my soul. You thinking about this plot. You thinking ain't thinking about, about no soul. Thinking about those draws. Yeah, you ain't thinking about no soul. So it just depends <laughs> on what type of dude you're dealing with and... You know, but you can loosen up. Just, just relax. I say just relax. Mm -hmm. Take your breather. You might want to throw you a shot back. I don't know. Just a little shot. Cause sometimes you get a little alcohol and you'll forget that you're a bird. <laughs> Next thing you know, Be you never have to spread it. So, you spread know, just needle. relax. I think once you relax and just loose, just loosen up, you'll be alright. You'll be alright. You'll right. be alright. That's what I think. You know, but I, I feel you on that one. You know, it, you know, the struggle gets to you every now and then. Miles. Now, I let the first one go and check, right? And I, I let you pass with that, right? I'm just saying. No, nah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Nah. Some of y'all been talking about y'all virgins and pussy hole this big. Well, nah, that's some of them. You, nah, but rephrase it. Say some of them. I'm just saying. Now, say some of them. I ain't going to, I don't know. Hey, you never well, get me none. Show sure ain't. Show sure ain't, goddamn. Don't count on it. Okay? So, I get it if I want it. Yeah. Don't let it fool you. If I want some of that pussy, I can have it right now. Yeah, he ain't had none of this pussy yet, and he ain't going to get none. Y'all better. <laughs> It ain't going. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> Let's move on to the next question. Um, this one comes from... She left her Twitter name, so I guess it's okay to say. It's KJ to you. Hey, hey it's KJ to you. Let me read this one. Okay. Okay. KJ says that she started a small business with her boyfriend, but his mother is always butting in trying to run stuff. Problem number one. Okay. Said he's talked to her about staying in her place, but she hasn't changed her ways. And... KJ says she's not good with holding her tongue. She's probably the worst person, but she wants to know how does she keep a good relationship with her boyfriend's mother, but keep her out of their business without messing things up. Can I just take this one real quick first? You can take the first part because I got a little something to say okay. about that mom. <laughs> you go ahead. Now, um, Set her ass straight. First this of all. is my problem, and see, I, I, as you know, me and Mika are both twenty-five. Right. We both still stay at home with our parents, stay. and I know for me. I try to please my mom and daddy the best way I can. But sometimes, right. like like I just noticed the other day when I was talking to my brother, you can't please your mama, your daddy, uh, especially when you grown as fuck. If he didn't already talk to her and told her that she need to keep her damn nose to herself, especially if she ain't put no money in the damn business y'all running, okay, bitch, that I'm bitch fine. ain't got no if say so. you ain't so. putting in no ends on nothing. this, you ain't got, I, she it, don't need to say nothing. shit. Now, if he didn't talk to her respectfully and you didn't talk to her respectfully, okay, now it's time to put on your business bitch mode and pull that bitch to the side. I don't give a damn. She will get over it. Just like my mom and dad, I might not do, they, I, might like, I might do something that they don't approve. Goddamn, eventually they'll get over it. Sometimes you have to go there with that goddamn woman. I understand where you coming from because you want to, you know, that's your man. Um, she want to keep a she dick happy. Keep a, good, keep a dick happy, pretty much. She want, it ain't about that. She want to keep, keep a, I mean, yeah, yeah, she want to keep a dick, dick happy, but she also want to have a good relationship with that mama law also. Let, let's cut right there. Let me just tell you this, ma'am. Okay, first of all, you with him. You ain't with his mama. That's check number one. So, if he didn't talk to his mama, supposedly he didn't talk to his mama and told her, and she's still doing the same thing, you can, I mean, if you feel, you, you don't have to necessarily snap. I ain't going to tell you what I would do because I would let the bitch have it. I don't mean no harm. I, if he watching, I'm sorry, but that's the bitch move. Your <laughs> I'm sorry. But basically just tell him, ma'am, you know, you ain't got, you ain't, honestly, just keep it. All keep it real. Keep you ain't got shit to do with what's going on up in this business, right, right, up, right up in here. Mm -hmm. You ain't got shit to do with what's going on mm -hmm. right up in here. You ain't, if you ain't put in. Then don't don't have shit to say about nothing. Whatever we that you and him decide to do, she should have done stuff. Now, if the bitch want to become a silent partner, okay, okay she money. can put her in some ducats, and the bitch can have her maybe one or two points. She can sit her ass back and hush. That's it. But you know, it's always seems like it. I'm sorry. It, but you, it, it, when, but when but, you dating though, when yeah. you, you when you with somebody, especially when it's a goddamn a man. That gets real sensitive. About See, I bet you know what? About See, I wish you had to put in this. I, I, I bet. I bet though. If you go, if she find out, like, ask him exactly what did he say to his mom. I bet you he ain't. 
Because sometimes you, as men, you not we got to put our like mom, that. but yep. boy, sometimes we got to. You got to put your goddamn foot down saying, as a grown ass man. Nah, he, no, he can't have money. Would. You know, man, I, you know, so you know, I, I, I just chill out. He ain't saying that. He need to go to her and tell her. tell her what it is. You know, this my woman. We we trying to start our business. We got success going on now. I appreciate you, you know, putting input in because you want to see us make it, but you overstepping your bound. That's all he got to tell you. He ain't got the disrespect. Just tell us you overstepping the bound. Because at That's the end it. of the day, y'all making the goddamn basically, money. Basically, the nigga, I mean, he's off the titty. Like, okay, he is not your baby anymore. He's grown as man. A man. Right, right. So, mm -hmm. let it go. Let the fuck go. Niggas need to just ban the fuck up sometimes. I mean, but basically she needs to just talk to him no and figure out what's going on. I can't stand them. Y'all had y'all a goddamn round table wrong. discussion to see what the fuck going on. You ain't got to have no round table discussion. Maybe they do because, I mean, you, she talking to him, he talking to his mama. You don't know what he tells. She not there. She don't know exactly what he tells. Ma'am, All three of y'all ass get together to see what the fuck going on. You ain't got to do the all three of you. Pull that bitch to the side and tell her, look, goddamn But she still have to get him straight too is what I'm saying. Oh, well. Oh, the fuck so, you know what I'm saying? Say you do what all the ass in the room. Look, you need to do such, such, such. You need to do now, what, all three of them in what, the same room. What happened if he just say, well, fuck you, girl. Me okay, wait, well, then she need to get him turned the fuck out. Cut his ass <laughs> out. Tell his mama, fuck her bald head ass. Fuck him and get up and peel the fuck out. That's all she got to do. That way, she didn't kill two birds with one stone. She didn't cut his ass out. She didn't cut her ass out. Ooh. Bam. And she walking out the door. Whoop, there the fuck there is. is. Whoop, there the fuck is. Hope everything work out between you and the man. And if it mama. don't, you know it is. Yeah, if it's not, you, you, might have to, you might have to just pull your money out of there and start your own goddamn business. Yeah. Look at him. I just don't understand how people be letting their mama run their damn lives like this. See, my mama know. She might say she might give her goddamn opinion, but she yeah, know my mama get input. She know I'm doing what the fuck I want. But I, but she don't really try to run up because I got I'm pretty sensible. I got good common sense, so mm -hmm. she don't really worry about me that much. So she don't really have that much. And another thing is with that with that I was like I was saying I'm talking to Kyle the other day. You got to make your own goddamn mistakes. Even though I know, I, like about them cars and shit. Remember that conversation we had the other day about that car lot? Told you that you got to buy. make your I own. I told people, that. America, I told his ass he should have bought a car. Now, mm. Bess out there sitting on one goddamn leg and the bitch <laughs> <laughs> crank up. Her name is I Sasha. told it, well, ooh, shit, Sasha broke down. You know that bitch, Betsy. Solange is out there on one goddamn leg, okay, ain't cranking the fuck up. Barely moving, and I told his ass to buy him a car. Uh, I told him to oh buy him a car God. last Beyonce, year. Beyonce, see this? I got to edit it out. Beyonce, said it. Uh, quiet as kill. Beyonce don't watch these goddamn videos, my house. You would like Beyonce to see know me. that Beyonce watches your videos, but she don't watch your videos. Beyonce man. knows me. She does. She does. Mm, okay, I'm gonna let you think that. Look uh, like you need to make you a goddamn question to put Beyonce. on it too, so I can read your ass from that delusion. Be. Shout out to you, B. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And my mm -hmm. uh, niece, baby. It is what it is, B, because you ain't going to see that one of these goddamn videos. <laughs> Shit. All right. This is the last question. And this one right here is a fucking doozy. Okay. That's number one. I just wish y'all could see the screen. Babe, I don't know who this baby is. Did you say keep it alone? Yes, yeah, Andrea Walker. Babe, Andrea. Sweetie, I'm, I love you for, for, for giving us questions and answers, but listen here. This baby didn't start. That's a goddamn four-page letter. Baby, we is not a live. We ain't Dr. Phil. She said that. In but, I mean, I understand. She probably had a lot she wanted to get off her chest. She said that she, if she had to tell the whole story so we can be able to keep but it. But it do make sense. I guess she, she gave us enough detail, but give us wrong. the cliff notes next time, baby. Just <laughs> That's a goddamn footnote. Give us the cliff notes next Here time. Give us a damn outline. It says, Dear Miles and Mika, I promise... <laughs> First of all, the caption say, is my relationship really fucked up like I think it is? I agree with you, boo. It is. I read it. It's fucked up two times. <laughs> you say, dear Miles and Mika, I promise I will try to make this short, but then again, doing that, doing that is almost impossible because if I leave something out, I doubt y'all will be able to keep it real. Well, so here's the deal. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, we appreciate, appreciate you. You say, here's the deal. I've been with my boyfriend for six years, out of which one of the years we weren't official, but we were still fucking around. Like many people, man. Yeah, a lot of people just be fucking around to oops, the bitch end up pregnant, then they see know that's your girlfriend. That's how I know I'm laughing. And we have a three year old daughter. <laughs> no shade, Andre. I ain't mean it like that. <laughs> well, so, so about two is, years ago, what it is. I cheated on him. Ho. Oh, I'm not you, I'm just saying. You got whole tendencies. You cheated on him. Um, that don't mean shit. You don't know what he was doing. He could have been dipping. He could have been dipping off. Well, I just feel like this. If he been dipping on her, don't cheat, leave. Throw the deuces. You might want to get even. Sometimes the best revenge mm -hmm. is when you get even. Mm -hmm. yeah, let's see how they work for her. <laughs> so about two years ago, I cheated on him, but I owned up to it, told him the truth, 
when he asked and promptly stopped all communications with, with that, that person. person. The person cheated with. Okay. I even changed my number. He said that he would stay with me, but I told him if we moved on, moved forward, to not stop bringing it up uh, at every incident. He agreed, and we were smooth. She said everything was smooth. Mm -hmm. Fast forward to today. Fast I'll take forward. You reach okay. your goddamn slow. Anyway, fast forward to today. He feels that it is okay to go through go through my phone. Mind you, I don't touch his. He reads her text messages, her emails. He even checked her call log. Says she told him that it's bothering her, but nothing has changed. It's always a chance that he will bring it up in the argument now, the cheating incident. So, to be honest, she said she really feels like he didn't cheat on her, but she don't have no proof to confront her with it. See, that's where you fucked up. See, you you told on yourself, he ain't telling shit, so he probably dipping up in the next bitch right now, but you won't never know shit about it. She's too busy writing emails. Back to the story, because you too busy writing four-page letters and shit. But back to the story. <laughs> anyway. I um, never seen no emails <laughs> Up. Okay, so she said, if I can't show him, then I know he'll talk his way out of it, pretty much. But the truth is, what's that? Oh, the no, sorry about that, y'all. The non-trust isn't the only issue that we have. He says he trusts her and he want to work on that relationship, but he'll read her journal. Bitch, is this nigga inspect the gadget? Did, what, what the fuck? Did, first of all, <laughs> okay, let me let me finish the yeah, email because oh my god. Anyway, he read her journal. He reads her email. He tell he don't want her talking to certain male friends that she done known for years and everything. But them, the dudes ain't never crossed the line, but he still don't want her talking to him. <laughs> so, oh shit. Right now, he is not working. <coughs> let, me, let me repeat it. <laughs> right now, he is not working. That's because he too he busy too playing G.I. fucking Joe, dressing up in camouflage with magnifying glasses and shit. What the fuck shit. you doing? Okay, that's, that's problem number two, Andrea. Okay. Anyway, right now he's not working, he, and he hasn't been working for a while, and he's looking for a job. But he ain't looking as much as she would like him to look. That's because he's probably sitting at home scratching his balls. Anyway, <laughs> it seems like we argue about money a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, man. Uh, anyway, so it seems like they argue about money a lot, which I know you're probably thinking, why you arguing about money? He ain't got shit. Bingo. Exactly. Then she said, you would be surprised the thing that he asked her for. He asked her for $300 shoes and video games. Okay. That's problem number 300. I'm just keeping the check. I'm, this so I, I'm just keeping the check. I'm just keeping the check. Let Andre ass have it because it's about time. It's, but anyway, then she said the comment he made to her the other day, he asked her, do you think this relationship will last? Because I know your family doesn't like me. So it's just a matter of time that it rubs off on you. When he said that, she said she asked him, well, no, she responded, I don't know, but why, what's she talking about me? Oh, I don't know, but why are we going to do this or whatever, something like that. And he said, he don't know, but he know he need to get a car before. <laughs> Wait a minute. She, just she said, she responded, well, why are we even going to go through this? He said, I don't know, but I know I need to get a car before we break up. Then right after that she asked, is my relationship really doomed like it seems? It ain't what it seems. Maybe it's what it is. Yeah, this, okay. it is what it's it's over. Is. It's over. Yep. And she it said, was over when you when you fucked the other guy. Be I, yeah, because I feel like if you really love some goddamn body, whether whatever the situation may be, whether he ain't got no damn job, whether his, he still got damn wearing fubu, whether he got braids that don't go up past his goddamn ear, no hang time. If you really loved him, Andrea, your ass wouldn't cheat it. I don't believe in that cheating shit, whether you sucked dick, sniffed it, seen it, touched it, if you thought about it. It's cheating. It is what it is. Yeah, and it's it, cheating. When, it's... When, when you fucked the other dude, it was over with. It should have ended then. I don't know how. I couldn't be with nobody who cheated on me. Especially if you a good ass bitch or he a, or he a good nigga or vice versa. But I can't be people, with nobody take, who cheated me. But sometimes people can't forgive people and actually be with them. I, but I doubt in it. his case, once he said that he forgave you, he should have let it go. But once the trust broken, like y'all relationship really is fucked up. Y'all been fucked. going down a hill since y'all trust was fucked up. Yep. When you cheated on him and you told him that fucking see, this this how it is with niggas. Niggas cannot take that they woman then fuck somebody else, some other dick besides his. They say they can take it or they are they I forgive you, baby, this and this and that. They can't take it. It's okay. Now on the other hand, a nigga don't want a bitch to forgive him mm -hmm. and 
It's supposed to be all gravy. I'm yep. sorry, baby. I cheated. And that's why. And a, a woman to take you know a man what? back and, and try to forgive right. you. And that's why. But that's man, why he won't let your ass go. He said he was gonna forgive you because he didn't want to see you with nobody else. That's how, that's me and they. It's just the fact that well, okay, she didn't cheated on me with this nigga. So what if I do break up with? Well, she might end up with this nigga. So yep. shit, I might well keep it to myself. Yep. But at the same time, he know he don't fully trust you. He, do, Andrea. Yeah, I trust the fuck up. He it, he don't trust you. It's it's pretty much over. And this nigga ain't got no number job. two. And he asked for three hundred dollars shoes. I mean, number two, you want to tell somebody what they can't do. You can't talk to this person. You can't talk to that person. You can't do this. You can't do that. And nigga, you ain't got a fucking job to the ain't, first. Ain't no he ain't got a job to the first. Like nail like job. Ain't he ain't job. got no ends. None. None. Ass out. And you want to tell me what the fuck I? Never mind the fact that I cheated. We, we, push that on to the back. <laughs> Push that back. You won't tell me where I can't go, can't do, can't sleep, can't talk to. And she's supporting you. And I'm supporting you, but then I can't I go nowhere, but you want to ask me for some $300 shoes. $300 shoes. $300. Shoe. Hell, I might got to go fuck the next nigga next door to get your $300 shoes. You might want to let me go out. <laughs> and you ask me for $300 shoes and $300 video game. $300 shoes. What? That's what I want to say. Niggas really make us I look like fucking dumbasses. We ain't got any car. We ain't got a motherfucking job, but we got them flossed out in Georgia. He's got PlayStation 3s, got uh, goddamn you know, iPhones. Just we, we flossed out, but we ain't got no motherfucking job. I don't give a damn. I don't give a fuck what the excuse is. I don't I, give a fuck. I, I, I I, if I get fired tomorrow, I bet you in about the next two, three weeks, I don't give a damn if I'm flipping goddamn waffles at because Waffle House. A man, I don't give a damn job. Uh, a man, a uh, real. Honest man, especially the fact that y'all got a child again. Don't they got a child again, right? Yep, three. She three. Y'all got a child again. A man, man, a good man, a real nigga, just straight 100. Okay, they gonna fall off, look for a job, look for a job. It's so long. Shit, ain't nothing came through. I gotta support me and my family. I got a girl. I gotta go find me a job. That nigga gonna go to Burger King. That nigga gonna go to McDonald's. That nigga gonna go to Pizza to do How can you even have a damn daughter? And don't have a job. And got the damn audacity, the nerve to ask your woman for three hundred dollars shoes, and she got, shoes, to, support and she got to support the dad, support the daughter, and you ain't got a motherfucking job. I, Andrea, please, Andrea, I hope that your boyfriend's watching with you. Use the bitch ass nigga. It ain't rocket science. Use Andrea. a bitch ass nigga. It's over with. It Y'all ain't don't trust science. each other. It ain't chemistry. He either. ain't got no damn she job. You cheated on no him, more. so you don't love him no more. Okay, it was evident in this damn in this whole thick ass paragraph. You do not love that man no more. Nah, she probably the damn juice. She can't. Women, yeah, women, women, it's, it's different for women. And then she didn't have a child by the nigga. She love him because she wouldn't still be sticking with him through this bullshit. Well, guess what, Andrea? She love him, but love, love you got to put that bills. shit to the side sometimes. Love don't pay bills. I, I mean, you got to put it to the side sometimes. Maybe, you know what, sometimes when... A, when a woman break up with a nigga that ain't doing shit, that'll make that nigga, that'll give that nigga a little motivation to get mm -hmm. on the shit. Maybe you need to show him that you ain't playing to that nigga. Look, get that nigga time frame, baby. Because you know here. what? It, yeah, I'm going to give your ass another month or two. Find your job. Mm -hmm. By the end of the 30th, motherfucker, you know this shit going to be That's why she side. cheated on him. Because obviously he not doing something. It, it, sometimes it don't have to be it don't looks. have to be it don't what, what you're not doing. It's something doing that, that he wasn't doing as far as he probably ain't been at no motherfucking job. He probably wasn't doing something that she found a motherfucker who was on his shit. That's why she gave up pussy. She, if she, if she do love him, she don't love him as much as she used to when they yeah, first got together. It didn't fade in there. It, it didn't fade in there. Because that's why she cheated on him. Under him. I'm just going to tell you. Yo, baby, your relationship is all kinds of fucked up. In, okay. and, 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 it's and, all and I bet you her ass bought some $300 pair of shoes, too. She brought the, Andrea, did. Andrea, did you buy those? You bought those Jordan then. You, you bought that PlayStation 2 then. Mm -hmm. You know what, Andrea? You know, I, just let it go. It's completely over. And when a nigga leave, get your $300 goddamn Jordans, and you get your $300 PlayStation, you, if you, you, you can't fit them Jordans, you stuff you some goddamn tissue in the top of them Jordans, and you wear them bitches, and you play that PlayStation goddamn, tell him to get his shit and get the fuck. Get his, he first ain't nobody got to, I, first of all, just me, ain't no, ain't no way in, in the hell, <laughs> ain't no way in the fuck, first of all, <laughs> that you finna be, we not fit, you finna be in uh. my house. Or even in my vicinity with no motherfucking job, number one. And you're going to have the nuts to tell me who I can't talk to, where I can't go, what I can't do. he got do. to get a car before they break and up. I, and and, that and, and, and that you ain't got no job. That, that's that's, that's basically what he's saying. She's going to co-sign for it. If she ain't, he probably didn't know. 
Andrea, just maybe go on. You know, I know, I know at the same time we're making jokes and we're being funny, but at the yeah, same time, I understand. Is real. I'm, I'm, I'm trying this to, you know, real. I'm getting, I'm really, I'm serious about my advice. Andrea, I, really. I, I really feel like anytime nigga got the action from the <laughs> and you, and you said, we read that you know he not looking as hard as he should. It ain't hard. McDonald's hiring every fucking day. A lot of people. We you need to put your pride aside. A lot of black, a lot of black people, a lot, a lot, of, black people. And a lot of men have that pride. A, they don't want to work at shit. fast foods or sometimes when the shit get real in the field. You got and you do, ain't you got, got you got to pay bills. You gonna work with a fuck. Got, do, I like that McDonald's when I was sixteen. When the bitch ain't making, like but when you know what, when the bitch ain't making nobody pay no bills. At the same time, just some of that shit fine. And you know what? A lot of that shit that she let uh, Dre, a lot of the stuff that you let him do or get away with or question you about, that's because you still feeling guilty because you cheated on him in yep. the first place. So that's, that's why you let him, that's why she let a lot of that shit slide. Yep. Andrea, don't feel guilty no more. If he said he was going to take you back, he's supposed to trust you. If he don't trust you, tell him to pack it, get his Charlie Brown boots. And roll. And roll. Get your Charlie Brown boots and roll. And roll. roll God it's damn just it. that simple, Andrea. I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean in, in the end, though, it's your relationship and it is your life because y'all have a child. You think about what you want to do, but I mean, it's a lot of people that co-parent their child when mm -hmm. the dad stays somewhere and the mama mm -hmm. stays somewhere else. And you know what? Who knows? And sometimes that might be good for that'll be. Uh, it's know, not good said, for a child knows? to be without their father, but he need he gonna have to grow up. He's supposed to, he's you supposed to be the man in the daughter life. Showing her what a nigga supposed I to wish, do. I wish I knew how old they were, because it sounds like they're like maybe 21, yeah, 22 they kind of, It seems like they're kind of young. He got them Xboxes and shoes. Shoes. You know what? If I'm with somebody, I don't want no motherfucking shoes. Bitch, buy me some groceries, okay? Okay. Give, buy, me, a, give me a gas card. Oh, okay. Shit. So pay a light bill. Pay, I tell you, what you get like that? What you get like that? Buy Nothing? You about to take pay a bill? That's the greatest gift of all, goddamn. Yeah, I, people take so much shit for granted. I tell you what, I don't give a damn about no clothes. I mean, I like to look nice when I go out, but I bet you the refrigerator gonna be full of fucking gross. If I go buy me some damn three hundred dollar anything, that I can we put can on my feet. We can tell you. I mean, you you ain't. Well, it ain't like we over here at Tyra Banks over uh, here. Close enough, goddamn. I'm just saying, close don't enough. do it. We both team, goddamn it, big back. We both team. Hey, my back is slender now. It's, <laughs> it's we both slender. team high blood pressure, goddamn. Hey, my bitch, I was on pills. My blood pressure is down. Now you on the other hand, this nigga blacked out, y'all. Black the fuck out. Woke up, didn't know where the fuck he was. I was laughing. That's why all they got them all damn burgers you be eating. They got them horse meat laughing. that they putting in Burger King. That's what's wrong. Bur I don't even like Burger King. Wendy's. Now Wendy's. That can get out my damn money. I love fucking Wendy's. Well, you guys, hopefully, <laughs> y'all enjoyed this. We're going to try to do this every it Monday up. or Tuesday. Every Monday? Every Monday or Tuesday because, you know, Wednesday, I'm really sacrificing because American Idol. Fuck American Idol. So, I, you know, we're going to try to do it every Monday and Tuesday. If you have a problem, a situation, a question that you need help with, hit us up. We're going to keep it real in the motherfucking field. You can send all questions and inquiries questions, and problems. Questions, inquiries, if you got relationship problems, job problems, work problems. Problems, if a bitch messes you at school, if you want a box or you just feel like you got some pressure on, write it. And we